How's it going guys? We're going to do a couple of problems that involve finding the percent abundance of each isotope of a particular element. So first off, we're going to start with one that is just a made up element. Let's just call it uh, element X. Element X has uh, two isotopes. And let's see, what do we got here? Um, element X has an atomic mass of 52.8, let's say, AMUs. Now we'll say um, there, like I said, there's two isotopes. We'll say one is uh, X51 and the other is X55. And X51 has a mass of 50.98 AMUs and X55 has a mass of 55.12 AMUs. So basically the way that we're going to work this out is start off the equation with this number, the actual atomic mass of the element. So in this case we have 52.8. Then we'll set that equal to x over 100 times we're going to do the mass of one of the isotopes now in this case it shouldn't necessarily matter which isotope you choose uh, so we'll just go from right to left here we'll start with that one the mass of x51 isotope so then we'll set that and then we'll say plus 100 minus x over 100 times the other isotope, which uh, the mass of the other isotope, which in this case is 55.12. So it seems like kind of a confusing formula, uh, but you'll see why in a second it's set up that way. And then once you understand why, it's much easier to, to do it again on your own. So in this case, we have the 52.8, and we're going to put that as, um, it's going to end up being 50.98x divided by 100. We can just preemptively do that. It's going to be 0.5098x plus. Now for this, it's going to distribute the 55.12 into here. So we're going to have um, 5,512 minus 55.12x all divided by 100. Again, we, we could have done it the quick way there. I, I could have just jumped ahead, but just in case I figured I'd show it out that way. 0.5098x plus, um, we'll divide each of these by 100. We're gonna have back to the 55.12 minus 0.5512x. So now look at what we got here. We got 50, we got a number here, um, we got a number here, and then we got two variables, or, or two multiples of x. So best thing to do here is just get rid of the numbers, get them all on one side, and then get all the x's um, onto one side. So we'll just go minus 55.12, minus 55.12. So here we have 52.8 minus 55.12. We're going to get a negative 2.32, which is totally fine. Now we're going to have the 0.5098x. This is going to be a minus because that's a negative. Minus 0.5512x, which we're going to get at negative 0 0.0414. Now we can just divide out and divide both sides by 0 0.0414, negative 0 0.0414. Now on this calculation, be really careful to make sure you add the negative sign to both because if you don't, it's going to really mess it up. 2.32 negative divided by 0 0.0414 negative equals. Now we got a good nice number, so 56.0 four we'll say.
So now we'll see what the relevance of this x is. Over here we set x over 100 because we were trying to find the percentage uh, of this, which was the mass of here. Um, and it's, it's all going to add up to 52.8. So we can plug that back in. We know that x is going to be, so the x51 isotope is going to be 56.04 percentage. That's going to be the percent abundance. Now, to find the other one, it's 100 minus x, um, and we already know x is 56.04. Oops, 100 minus 56.04. There we get uh, 43.96. That's the X55 isotope. So now we have the answer, but there's two checks that I like to do that are pretty quick. Um, so one of them is just the percentage add up. Check that these percentages add up because if they don't, then something went really wrong. 56.04 plus 43.96 equals 100. Good on that. So that's the first check. Now the second check is to actually just plug it into an equation that would make sense. Uh, if you saw the last video, or if you just know how this is how this works, then you'll you'll see what to do next. So we're going to take fifty six point. Whoops, that's going to be point fit five six oh four. Multiply the percentage by the mass, which our mass of the Lower isotope is 50.98. Then we're going to add that to the larger isotope, 55.12, times its percentage, which is 43.96. And if all went well, this should add up to this. So let's see if it does. 50.98 plus, or oops, times 0.56. 4 equals that. This time I'll just do it plus um, 55.12 times point, that should be 0 0.43. 4396 equals 52.79. Yep, so it equals. rounds up to 52.8, perfect. Okay, great, so that's one. Now, let's do one with an actual element this time. So, antimony, which is the element Sb, has two isotopes. We have um, Sb, 121 and SB 123 and the masses are going to be for the 121 120.9 and the other one is going to be 122.90 yep okay so now we will we'll know that the um, antimony mass on the periodic table should be, where is that, antimony is 121.9, not sure where that's going to be, that's 121, right there, antimony, so 121.75, we'll round that up to, well we can just do 121. Eight. And that will be what we're going to work from. So we got 121.8 equals, again, we're going to do the x over 100. And that will be multiplied by whichever one we want. We'll do the 120.90 plus 100 minus x over 100 multiplied by the other isotope mass. Now we're going to just work through this. It's 
going to be 1.209x plus 122, oh yeah, that's 12,290 minus 122.90x all over 100. Come down again, 121.8 equals 1.209x plus 122.90 minus 1.229x divided by 100. See, so now we have again the exponents and the whole numbers. So we're, numbers, we're just going to get rid of, put them all on one side, 122.90. One twenty one point eight minus one twenty two point nine zero equals negative one point one. Okay, so negative one point one equals, and then we're going to do these out. That's going to be what is that? One point two oh nine minus one point two two nine is very small number. We got negative 0.02. Negative 0 0.02. Again, make sure to add those negative signs if you're going to be dividing. So we have 1.1 negative divided by 0 0.02 negative equals 55, even number. So our nice, nice whole number, I mean. So we have 55 equals x. Now we can look back and see the relevance of that number. So x divided by 100 right here is going to be 55%. So the isotope with this mass, which was SB121, is going to have 55% abundance. And then the other isotope, SB 123 is going to have 100 minus x, 45% abundance. Um, so again, we'll just do the double check here, check, check. So first of all, we know clearly that adds up to 100, so that's good. Now the other check, we'll throw that back into the equation. Um, so 120. 0 0.90 times 0.55. This time we have nice round numbers, so that's easy. Um, plus 122.90 times 0.45. And again, this should equal the mass of antimony. So we have 120.9 times 0.55 equals. Okay, then plus 122.90 times 0.45 equals 121.8, 121.8. And that's not necessary every time, but it's something that you can use to double check your work if, you're, if you have some extra time on a test or something like that. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helps someone.